So what's going on YouTube? It's TC coming to give another video. And if you're new here on this channel, I like to talk about cybersecurity, motivation. I might give advice, and just this is just a place where I just give my um, experience, and I just like to help people. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how I passed the Microsoft AZ900 exam. The way that this came about was it, it was kind of random. Um, I'm kind of one of those people who once I find something interesting, I just continue to go down the rabbit hole. So I was navigating around Microsoft Learn's platform and I came across the AZ900 material. And I've heard a lot about cloud, AWS, um, Azure, GCP, and all these different platforms and I always knew it was something that eventually I wanted to learn but there's just something about Microsoft that I really like I like their technology I like how um, they're they have an online learning platform where you can learn everything for free and it can give you the basis and help you pass certifications the certifications are pretty cheap compared to the other certification tests out there and you know I just I just stuck with it so I started the Microsoft Learn AZ900 learning path and kind of just kept going with it and kept going with it. So it was kind of like an accident the way that it all happened because I really hadn't intended to commit to learning the cloud at the time, but it just happened. Um, but I'm glad I did. So I went through the entire learning path for the AZ900 and I liked it. So I was like, I'll just stick with it and then take the certification exam. The study guy that I use was Microsoft Azure Fundamentals by Jim Cheshire. Um, here's the book right here. Um, I'll make sure that I link it. I utilized this book and Microsoft pretty much had did a good job at explaining all of the concepts. So once I had went through the learning path, I started to go through it again, but I also wanted to uh, get a study guide, an official study guide so that I could to basically just commit everything to memory. And I'm glad that I did that because it explained and expanded on all of the concepts needed to pass the exam. Once I did this, I took a couple practice tests on Microsoft Learn, and honestly, that was pretty much it. Um, I used Microsoft Learn, and then I used the study guide, and after that, I felt pretty confident in everything that I knew. I took my first um, practice assessment, and I scored a 72%. And then I went over some of the problematic areas that I was having a problem with understanding. And then once I went over those and felt comfortable, I continued to take practice assessments. And um, every time I took a practice assessment, I scored higher. The second one, I got an 80% and then my percentages just kept going up. So after that, I felt pretty confident. I studied for the exam for about a month and two weeks. And at that point, I said, you know what, I'm not going to push off this exam. Um, I'm just going to pay for the exam and get a date locked in so I can really lock in. I felt like I couldn't study anymore and there was nothing more that I was going to be able to, you know, get in my head before the exam. So the day of the exam, um, I woke up, ate a nice breakfast, um, got to my testing center a little early so I could study. Um, and then I went in there and... I was taking the exam and I feel really good about the exam. It seemed like it seemed like, you know, you have those you have those doubtful thoughts sometimes about your performance. But I knew I was getting the questions right because I just I just felt so confident and I knew the material. So I ended up passing the exam with a 842. Um, the minimum passing score is 700. And, you know, that it, it felt really good to pass that on the first time. And so with that being said, um, make sure that if you're going to take this exam, you commit to the material, um, commit to Microsoft Learn's platform. Um, I suggest going over it twice, um, creating an Azure account and learn how to create resources, learn about the different regions, resource locks, um, the networking policies, learn about all of this and then start to get experience with it. And, uh, your Azure, Azure comes with, um, a $200 credit when you, for your first month, but it does expire after 30 days. So make sure you use it, um, to help you prepare for the exam. Um, and I'll say as far as exam difficulty, 
I would say it's not spot on with Microsoft Learn's um, practice assessment, but I would say it's very close. Like it's very, very close. Um, and in my humble opinion, um, I don't know. I've seen mixed reviews about this on Reddit, but I honestly think that you can pass six exam if you just use Microsoft Learn's platform. If you have a good memory, you go over it a couple times, take practice tests. I honestly believe that you could just use Microsoft Learn's platform to pass the exam. But I'm one of those kind of people. I want to be sure I like to use multiple resources. So there are free um, playlists on YouTube that you can watch. Um, learn the or go over the material on Microsoft Learn and then get a study guide. I do recommend this study guide that I used. Um, again, I will link that and put that on the video. But if you utilize those resources, you can't go wrong. Um, make sure that you study hard and you try to pass the exam on the first try because these, these exams are expensive. And that's pretty much it. So that's been my experience with the Microsoft AZ900. Um, if you're planning to take this exam, congratulations in advance. I hope you pass and tell me your experience with this exam and if you pass in the comments below thank you for watching this video um, don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one